we could gut education, pay for Governor Romney's $5 trillion tax cut, or we can recruit 100,000 new math and science teachers over the next decade. Well, helping, helping our young people refocus on science and technology, engineering, math. We should make sure all our young people, our daughters as well as our sons, are thriving in these fields. This should be a national mission. I've got to tell you, we don't have to collect a bunch of binders to find qualified, talented, driven young women ready to learn and teach in these fields right now. And when young women graduate, they should get equal pay for equal work. That should be a simple question to answer. When Governor Romney was asked about it, he, his campaign said, we'll get back to you. That shouldn't be a complicated question. Equal pay for equal work. I want my daughters paid just like somebody else's sons are paid for the same job. That's straightforward. Now, I, I've got to say, last night, Governor Romney's top advisor finally admitted, no, the governor didn't really support that bill. You don't have to wait for an answer from me. The Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act was the first bill I signed into law as president. First bill. <laughs> Governor Romney didn't want to talk much last night about how he wants to end funding for Planned Parenthood, how he supports legislation that would turn certain decisions about a woman's health care over to their employers, he didn't want to talk about it because he knows he can't sell it. I don't think your boss should control the health care you get. I don't, think, I, don't, I don't think insurers should control the health care you get. I certainly don't think politicians should control the health care that you get. We passed Obamacare. Yeah, I like the term. We passed it. Because I do care. And I want to put these choices in your hands where they belong. 